Hi, second graders. Mrs. Richard here for a little reading lesson. Last week, we talked about two story elements, characters and setting. The characters are who or what the story is about, and the setting is where and when the story takes place. You also listen to Mrs. McCullough, and she was telling you about your thinking voice when you read. When you use your thinking voice when you read, you are thinking about the characters and the setting of the story. And probably a lot of other things are popping up in your head. Today, I wanna to focus a little bit more on setting and do an activity with you. So get ready to get your thinking voice ready because I will do the reading for you. I have an assignment down here that we are going to look at together. It is called, What's the Setting? So there are two very short passages that I will read, and then we're going to focus on the time this happened, that's the when, and the place, that's the where it happened. So the time is when this happened, and the place is where it happened in a story. The first story says, as the night ended, the sun splashed across Casey's bed. He opened his eyes slowly. The first thing he saw was the beautiful blue ribbon on his bookshelf. If I'm focusing on the setting, the when and where this takes place, did you hear any clues in that story? Did you hear anything that would tell us Sometimes authors don't do that. They don't tell us exactly where and when this is happening. We have to look for clues. So as I look at this again, I see that Casey's in his bed. And I see that the night ended and the sun splashed. What would that be? I'm thinking that it could be the morning. Night is over. The sun is splashing across his bed. That gives me some clues that the when is the morning. Now, where is he? Once again, the author's not telling us exactly where he is, but I saw clues. There's the word bed, that could be a clue. His bookshelf might be a clue. So if I think about this and I'm using my thinking voice, I bet the place is Casey's room, or you could have said Casey's bedroom. Now, in our little passage here, the main character is Casey. We're not talking a lot about characters, but he is the only character in this little passage, this little story. We were focusing more on the setting, but my thinking voice was in action. As I was reading this, I am very curious as a reader of what that blue ribbon's about. That's something that I'm wondering after I read this. Let's go to the second passage. Remember, you're listening for when the story takes place and where the story takes place. Jenny ran as fast as she could down the path. There were trees in front of her, trees behind her, and trees on both sides. While the snow was falling heavily in the valley, only a few snowflakes made it to the ground around her. Hmm. Once again, the author's not telling us exactly when and where this story is taking place. We need to look for some clues. When I'm thinking about the when, the time this is happening, this doesn't give me clues about a morning or an evening or a lunchtime, but I hear a clue about when as in a season or a time of the year. 
I see clues of snow and snowflakes. And I am thinking that this is happening in the winter. When is this happening? In the winter. I still don't know specifically if it's morning or afternoon, but I know that it's a winter season. The place, the where that this is happening. Let's look for some clues. She's going down a path. I heard a lot of words about trees all around her. That made me think of something like the woods or a forest. Maybe she's on a hike. Some of you might have said maybe she was in her backyard. But the one thing that kind of made me think somewhere else was the word valley. That made me think maybe it's not her backyard, that she's probably like in a forest, maybe on a hike. Once again, the character is Jenny. She's the main character. She's the only one we've seen and heard about so far. And as my thinking voice is going on, I'm wondering where she's running to. It says she ran as fast as she could down the path. That makes me wonder, where are you going? Why are you running? So my thinking voice is always working when I'm reading. And that's your job this week. Whenever you are reading, whether it's for read to self time or for something else that your teacher assigns to you, think about the story elements, use your thinking voice, and that's going to help you understand what you're reading a little better. So this week, enjoy reading some good books and practice these story elements. I'll be in touch soon with another lesson.